We're going to see in this short video the benefits of demand aggregations. Different requisitions grouped together to get better pricing, for example. So let's start with Archie, someone who needs cylinders at a certain location. In the catalog, he finds the cylinders and he finds ones that is $500. He orders two pieces of those. At the same time, Randy, somewhere else in the company, is also ordering cylinder packs. But those are $600. It's the same article, but two different prices, maybe because of delivery conditions or different suppliers. So, how to solve this? Well, first, everything needs to be approved. The workflows, the people related to those requisitions need to approve the process. Once this is all done, the article is actually held for consolidation. Someone needs to look at this to actually get a better condition. And this is assigned to a buyer, Jean Blanda. So now let's log out of those users and see the process from Jean's point of view. So Jean, the buyer, logs also into the system and will access her purchasing workbench. In there, all the items that have been held for consolidations are available. And we've put a lot of filters for her to be able to quickly find what she needs to work on. Let's note also that some consolidation can happen automatically, auto-aggregation. But in this case, she looks at the screen and realizes that those two cylinders have different prices. And that's not good. So, she's going to aggregate those two requisitions together. And since it is identical products, she will actually substitute the most expensive one with the other one. So, she search back for cylinder in the catalog, finds the good source of supply that can be consolidated, and assigns it to the requisition. Now, she could even ask the supplier for a quote and transfer this to the sourcing engine to do a quote request. But here she submits and that means that those requisitions have been automatically converted into purchase orders. Now, there is even more interesting stuff behind this. There was a volume discount for this supplier. If you order a lot, you get cheaper price. And because we actually ordered four articles, everything became $400. And this is how price compliance and contract compliance can be applied because of the aggregation. Now, going back to Randy, our original requester, he can see the purchase order at this time that he has requested. And if, if he's curious about what changed, he can always see the before and after. So what he selected and what was changed during the aggregation process. And this is how, by aggregating multiple requisition into one single one, you can have better pricing, better delivery conditions, and better efficiency.